Are you guys are you guys thankful? We're we're in no- November now. This is you know the season of being thankful and grateful, just remembering all of the good things that God has done for us, regardless of all the hard things that we've been through. There's always something that we can be thankful for toward God. And so, I was actually reading in a um, we we read a been reading through some books as for family devotionals, and there was one a few days ago that we read. And he was, and it, I don't know how old this research is, but it was talking about how uh, your pain tolerance is actually associated with your state of mind. So, like, if you're feeling um, depressed and lonely or sad, those emotions uh, decrease your pain tolerance. They do. They, I mean, they, they, they proved it scientifically. And so, on the opposite of that, when we're when we're joyful and we're um, we're feeling connected and loved, uh, and we're you know we're being involved and we feel like we're being helpful to the community or to our friends and family, well then naturally, uh, we, our pain tolerance is increased and so we can handle more pain, right? So uh, that being said, let's take some time this morning to be grateful. So then, if you fall down today, you you, you won't hurt so bad, right? <laughs> No, but, but in all seriousness, um, it's so important for us to be thankful, to take time, to just acknowledge what God has done for you. I know um, many people this year have, have had a hard year, right? Many of us have had a pretty challenging year. Um, but again, if we can just learn to trust God in those situations and know that he's working those things for our good, then we can take joy in those, right? The scripture talks about um, counting it all joy, and I know that's easier said than done. But if we do, if we take time and by faith we say, well, by golly, this is hard, but I'm going to, I know that God's going to walk through this with me. I know he will. He promised he would. And I'm going to hold him at, that, at his word because he's not going to fail me. And we, we go ahead and, and bear through it and we lean on the grace of God. He'll get us through every time. Every time. Well, if you guys would stand, let's go ahead and worship together. I hope you're glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. I know I am, and I'm glad that you're here this morning as well. This song talks about God's love, and there's nowhere which you can go, no place you can flee from the, from God's love. Is that right? If you don't know anything else this morning, just know that God loves you, and we love you too. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, God. Come all you weary, come all you thirsty, Come to the well that never runs dry. Drink of the water, come and thirst no more. Come all ye sinners, come find his mercy. Come to the table he will satisfy. Taste of his goodness, find what you're looking for.
Church, the Word of God says that His grace is sufficient for you. So that means that uh, no matter the situation or how poorly you may have failed, God's grace covers it, right? His grace is like snow or rain. You may have a new pickup sitting outside, but I really wish it, wish it wouldn't snow on that, but it's going to snow on it. It's going to fall on the rain, or it's going to fall on the river, it's going to fall on the trees, it's going to fall on the ground, it falls on everything. And His grace is the same. It covers you. So, that being said, and that being known, we need to live and operate in such a way, right? Say, His grace is enough for me. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your amazing grace, Father God, Lord. And I pray for the people here who might be here, Father God, that are feel like they're bound by chains, by some sin or addiction or some regret. Lord, we cast that out in the name of Jesus, Father God, because we know that your word says your name is above every name, Lord. And we look up and not down, Father God, and we thank you for who you are in Jesus' name. Amen.
Won't you get shy on me, lift up your song Cause you got a lion inside of those lungs Get up and praise the Lord Oh, come on my soul Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song Cause you got a lion inside Church, there's a few attributes, character traits that I feel like we as Christians should be embodying and, and, and using and living in on a daily basis. One of them is appreciation, right? The song's called Gratitude, Thankfulness, Generosity. I've heard DL say many, many times, if you're going to err, err on the side of generosity, right? Which one would you rather err on? Too short or too long? Listen, I believe of all the people on the earth right now, we as a Christian people should be the most, the most people full of gratitude. Because how many of you are thankful? Listen, we're going to have some audience participation, all of you out here. 
How many of you are thankful for what God's done for you? I've raised your hand this morning. Aren't you just thankful? Nobody said it was easy. Nobody said it's going to be easy. In fact, Jesus even said in this world, you'll find some trouble. Some of you found more than others. But he also went on to say, don't lose heart. Don't give up. Don't quit. Why? Because he's overcome the world. That's good news, church. That's good news. I'm so thankful and appreciative and grateful for the things that God's done for me. And this is what the word says about that. It says, he's no respecter of man. What does that mean? That means there's nothing he won't do for me that he won't do for you or vice versa. This is what the word says about him. It says he's good and he doesn't hold back from you. He doesn't hold back from you. He gives you your portion. I heard a guy give this example one time about the things of God and, and, and how, how it takes time to grow into maturity. And he was talking about you don't let a six-year-old or a five-year-old, you don't turn them loose in a brand new rig. You know why. You may have the means and the ability or whatever to provide that for that person, but they're not ready for that yet. Because what they're going to do is hurt themselves and hurt the ones around them, right? You don't blame a five-year-old for hitting a tree. You blame the 40-year-old 40 40 who let the five-year-old drive, correct? Now listen, God's always getting you ready for what he's got ready for you. Right now, he's getting you ready for something. Listen, if you're in the middle of a struggle and a fight, something's difficult in life, he's getting you ready for something. King David killed a bear. He killed a bear. And then he killed a lion. Not only did he do those two things. Now listen. Not only did he do those two things. When he was getting ready to face the giant, he recalled that. And he said, he said, this is why. You know, the king of, an, of Israel said, you can't go face this guy. It's what it says. It says, you're just a youth, and he's been a fighting man from his youth. And he said, while I was tending my father's sheep. See, some of you don't realize why you're doing this lowly job. God's getting, ready, getting, getting you ready for something. Maybe you're getting ready to kill a giant for a whole nation. He said, see, while I was watching over those sheep, I killed a lion and I killed a bear. And he's, what he say? Say the same God. Same God that delivered me from those two will deliver me from this. He's a kid with bold faith. Some of you need to pray over your lunch pail tomorrow. Some of you need to pray in the lunchroom. Doesn't have to be a big drawn out thing speaking in tongues. Thanking. Live thankful. Thankfulness is a lifestyle. Father God, we thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're going to do, Lord. Lord, help us not forget where you, through the Spirit, Lord, you slayed the bear, you slayed the giant. Father God, or you slayed the lion. Help us not forget those things. Lord, and help us use that with confidence moving forward for what you're going to do for us, Lord. That tough times don't last, but tough people do. Father, and I pray for tough Christians this morning. Tough. Sometimes we, especially believers, we confuse meekness with weakness. And that's not the case. Jesus was meek, but he wasn't weak. And Father God, we, Lord, we're just so thankful today. Everybody say, I'm thankful for what God has done. I'm so thankful, Father God, and we, we, we're so full of gratitude and appreciation for all you are and all you've done, Father God, and we acknowledge that this morning, and we invite your presence here, Father God, to minister to hearts, to make a difference in somebody's life, to give somebody that juice, that, that charge they need to go through Monday, Father God. I pray for people to have bold faith in these last days, Lord. Bold faith. Ushers, you come, Lord. I pray that this offering will go to lift up your king kingdom add names to your book of life father god and help us remember what you've done what you're doing and lord what's to come we love you this morning lord in jesus name amen
Lord a hand clap this morning, church. God bless you. Thank you, worship team. So the month of November is a really special month. Um, in America, it is known as the month of Thanksgiving, not just because of Thanksgiving Day, but because we also want to uh, show our appreciation to all of those uh, veterans that have signed on the uh, line to, uh, to literally do what Jesus says in this passage of Scripture. In John's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 12 and 13, Jesus' words, he said, This is my commandment. Everybody say it's a commandment. Amen. That you love one another. And, and here's the, the measurement, as I have loved you. As I have loved you. And so that's a powerful Powerful paradigm to think, listen, what all Jesus, anybody appreciate what Jesus has done for us today? Amen. You bet. Absolutely. And, and, and so for us to love one another, and then he says this right here, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And so for those that are here, that are veterans, served our country, um, some that didn't make it back, right? Uh, served. We want to acknowledge those that are in the house. For those of you that are watching live, uh, we want to say thank you to you as well and thank you for your service. Um, the song uh, that we just ended with in 2000, late August 2019, I was introduced to that song by my wife about singing your way out of the valley. How many of y'all know that praise is a powerful weapon, a spiritual weapon? Um, the way we teach it here is that prayer is a powerful weapon. No, no, and praise is the highest form of prayer because what praise does is it takes you beyond the petition to a place of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord God, because we have faith and confidence that you have heard, and when you hear us, we have those things that we ask. That's what Jesus taught us. And so when we look at those things, it's powerful. And so I can tell you, listen, those weren't just pure, you know, just pretty words on a, on, a, on a course on the screen. You can sing your way out of the valley. I had COVID in that August 2019 and was uh, sitting in my recliner, marshes, packing me with ice. My fever was 105.3. That may explain a few things. It may have burned out a brain cell or two on that one right there. I'm not sure. So for some of you that are regulars here on Sunday, and we wonder about that guy sometimes. So anyway, that's my excuse. Um, I literally sick, not because you feel like praising, but because praise is a weapon. And so we're just battling. And I'm just thanking you, Lord God. Praise you, Father. And you sing your way out of the valley. And whatever your valley's name was, mine was COVID that particular August. And God brought us through. I literally thought that I was, I mean, it, it, that thing had death associated with it. And we know that. It, it, you can, listen, I've been around enough death. I have watched a lot of people go on. And I know what death looks like. Um, I know what that spirit's, what you what you sense when that spirit's in the room, and he was very nearby, but he didn't he didn't uh, win that day. Oh, death, where's your victory, right? And so, sing your way, praise, appreciate, and so we want to show our love and our appreciation for all of our veterans preparing for Thanksgiving. Caleb has a wonderful message prepared on gratitude, and um, how many how many y'all know that that your attitude sets your altitude, right? If you want, right, and so. You want to live on up here. So uh, would all of our veterans please stand? And as they stand, would you give them some love? I mean, lay it on them. We appreciate all of our veterans. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, lay it on them. Give them love. Give them some love. That's it. For you that are watching, we love you too. Thank you. Now, we've got one step made. Would you all come, please? I know it's going to be awkward, but i got some goodies for you up here if you'll come. Uh, Kayla, would you come help me, please, son? Give them a hand as they're coming. We want to give you something. Come on. You're a veteran. You're a veteran. I want to recognize your service. Some more veterans. There was more than that stood up. Somebody's holding out. Yeah. All right. Would you hand those out? So we have a, just a little American flag pin that we want to share with you. And then we have some gift certificates 
from uh, Pizza Americana. And anybody here like groceries, and you guys like groceries, there's a gift certificate. So you can have your choice uh, from G&W Foods uh, gift certificate there. The, the song that um, Aaron was leading us in, just this, this hallelujah, it's all that I have, just this hallelujah, doesn't thank you seem like really pretty small and shallow when you look at people. You're looking at people who when they sign the line, they said, I'll die for you to take care of America. I'll get between you and the enemy. And that's this group right here and the group that was here and a bunch more that I'm sure is watching. Give them another hand one more time. And so here you are, you get your choice, Pizza Americana or uh, G&W, whichever you, you have uh, there. And uh, while we're doing that, Caleb's gonna go ahead and, 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 and just hand these out. While he's doing that, I want us to, um, first of all, we'll be having our next Wounded Warrior River Run. Uh, it will be in that last week of April, and as we get a little bit closer uh, to that, uh, we'll let you know the exact dates. Thank you, Shelby and Cherie, for hosting that for us year after year, and we appreciate uh, the ministry from Rainbow Springs and, and, and powerful right there. We also have... Uh, it's not Vanna White to model for us, but we, we, I, I, I hate to tell you, William, but you're not Vanna, but I thought, I want you guys to get, get me on the top camera up here, and I, I want you to get a shot of this shirt right here. Look, look at this right here. I took a DNA test. God is my father, and veterans are my brothers. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that good? I love it. Thank you. Thank you. If you would, stand, put your hand up this way. We're going to speak blessing over our veterans. We're going to speak blessing over those wounded warriors that we will have the honor to minister to uh, again in April. And then we want to speak blessing and protection over those who are in active duty service. Our world's a dangerous place right now, and we still have young men and women, courageous Americans signing on the line for us, and I appreciate it. So let's pray for them all today. Put your hand up here with me today. Father God, thank you for our veterans here in the sanctuary with us today, for those that are watching, Lord God. We speak blessing upon them and we say thank you to them for their service. We appreciate it. We don't take it lightly, Lord God, and we are so thankful that they made it home. Lord God, we pray for the families of those who lost loved ones, Lord God, who are still wrestling with grief and sorrow. We pray, Lord God, for those wounded warriors that we minister to, Lord God, Thank you for them and them willing to do what they did, Lord God, and such sacrifice. We so appreciate it. We'll never forget it, Lord God. And then we also pray, Father, for those who are in active duty service right now in all of our branches of service, Lord God. We pray for protection. We pray over them, and we speak blessing to them in the name of Jesus. And everyone that agreed said amen. Thank you, men and women, for your service. We appreciate you all so much. May God richly bless you. Thank you, guys.